All right, so I'm not going to derive all of the other Newton Coates formulas, uh, but I'm just going to show them all here. So this is the one that we derived, which th this first line. Uh, this is the one that we derived, which is the trapezoid rule. And uh, we saw how that happened. Um, the next one we could derive is called the Newton, or excuse me, it's called Simpson's one-third rule. And so I've, I've sh I'm showing this table so that you can see why it's called the Simpson's one-third rule. So if we use, so if we take H, all right, now, now for all of these, we assume that our data is equally spaced. We really didn't have to do that because, uh, for, for the trapezoid rule, because what what does equally spaced mean when you've only got two points anyway? <laughs> but when you've got three points, uh, then it's got to be equally spaced. And so that's what we assume. And so then our spacing, which we call H, uh, for that case is equal to B minus A over 2. Well, uh, what happens then is, is we can define then that H, and we can represent this formula, the newton Coates formula, in terms of H. Now, why would we do that? Well, the only reason that we would do that is so that we can see that the coefficient here is one-third. Okay, I mean, you might do it when you're deriving it, but, but we wanted to see the coefficient is one-third, which is why this is called um, Simpson's one-third rule. All right, so then we also have Simpson's three-eighths rule. The next one's called Simpson's three-eighths rule. And it's called Simpson's three-eighths rule because this coefficient here that we have in front is three-eighths. So uh, I just wanted to show you these because when we look then at the simplified formulas, because we plug in this b minus a over 3 in this case, this doesn't look like 3 eighths. The 3 completely goes away because we had this 3 in the numerator, the 3's cancel out, and so all we see in the final simplified formula is an 8 and the 3 is gone. So just wanted you to see then where the 3 eighths rule name comes from, where the 1 third rule name comes from. Uh, we can look then again at these final equations for the newton Coates formulas. i just rewritten them all over again here. Um, yeah, so so we just have these, and so these are the closed formulas. Uh, so we have the trapezoid rule, uh, Simpson's one-third rule, Simpson's three-eighths rule, and then we have Boole's, uh, Boole's formula. We can do the same thing. I, I just showed here the the lower and the upper limits, the, the limits of integration here, and you can see for every one of these, x naught and x1 are used in here, and b minus a, again, a and b are these x naught and x1, but, uh, okay, so that's all of the closed newton Coates formulas. We can do also the open newton Coates formulas. Now, when we do that, though, uh, we notice something here. Our x naught and our x2, which are the limits here that we're going over, those are the a and b limits here. Those are not, do, do not appear in our formula because they're not used. We're not using the endpoints, which is why it's called an open newton Coates formula. The thing here uh, to notice then is that in all of these formula we get, uh, well, the first thing is this actually exists. So we have, uh, this is sort of similar to the trapezoid. This is a trapezoid method, right? But we, we we're dividing it though instead of when when we did the trapezoid rule before we only had it it was only one segment but this is divided into uh, three different segments because we got x naught or two different segments because we got x naught no three x naught to x one uh, x one to x two and x two to x three but we still use a trapezoid but um, we've then got more segments if you if you think about our 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 divisions and again these use equally spaced uh, assume equally spaced data and in practice uh, the reason we're showing you the newton codes formula is because we're going to see them later later when we do uh, when we do the uh, ordinary solve ordinary differential equations but 
uh, for the purposes of numerical uh, integration, we really don't use the open methods too much. We do, though, use the closed newton coates formula. And so uh, I think that wraps up this uh, section on, um, on the, the newton coates uh, formula for the, the closed forms uh, and the derivations. So that's it.